Hello. <laughs> Starting off the video itching. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to talk. This is part two. The plans for the black man. This is part two. And like I said in the previous video, what's the plan for the black man? Poverty. That's the first thing. To keep us in, keep the black man in consistent, persistent poverty. And see, when you keep a man in poverty, you keep generations in poverty. This could be talk about generational wealth. You're going to have generational poverty. When you keep a man in poverty, you're going to have generational poverty. And what's the second one? Division, divide, and you conquer them. And, and look, uh, they have used that technique all around the world. Divide the Africans, divide the Tutus against the Hutus, even though there's not much physical difference between them. Divide the Hutus and conquer them. Why do you want to conquer them? Because they have minerals underneath the soil. Divide the Indians. Get the Indians to kill. Get the Indians to kill each other, brother against brother. Why? And there's no difference between the Indians other than the fact that there's some are light skin and some are dark. Why? Because Indian India has precious jewels. They have land. It's a big land mass. They have precious jewels. They have minerals underneath them. That's why they want India. So the white people can have majority of the world's wealth because actually there's enough wealth in this world. Everybody could be a millionaire. Every man, woman, and child can be a millionaire in this, in this whole wide world. Every man, woman, and child can be a millionaire. Okay, do you have $44 billion in your pocket to buy Twitter? No, you don't. What black man has it? They don't. <laughs> they don't have it because they make sure they are poor. And they make sure there's division in the black community. They make sure that that's why you see this. That's why there's this black on black crime. Do you think that that's coincidental? It's not co it is not coincidental, this black, in black on black crime. It is planned. Now, let's take the celebrities. The celebrities in music, news media, sports, they are all of them. They are all slaves. doesn't matter what, what genre I'm talking about. They are all slaves. Because anytime anybody can tell you what to do with your money, you're a slave. I mean, I'm not a slave because nobody tells me what to do with my $15. But look, even the slaves in Jamestown, Virginia in 1619, at least they had sense enough not to be slaves of the mind. They had sense enough to, not to be that because they would save their money to buy their quote unquote freedom, which they were born to have anyway. But they had sense enough to save it. But look, you got these black celebrities in no matter, look, news, media, sports, everything. They're slaves because <clears throat> people tell them what to do with their money. You're still a slave. Um, it's written in their contract. Every last one of them, they're not going to tell you, but <clears throat> excuse me, it's written in their contract. They can't do anything for the blacks in America. They can't even have a, a, a laundromat in the black community. They cannot have a convenience store in the black community. Uh, they cannot have, uh, they cannot build like the blacks who live in a shack. They cannot even build them a new $13,000 house. They can't do that. It's written in their contract that they can't do it. If you want that white person to write you a check, whether you're in sports or news media or whatever, if you want that white man to write your check, then you better sign that contract. You're not going to do anything for the blacks in America. I'm not sure they can even patronize black businesses. I mean, if a black woman has a, or a black man has a, a restaurant, I'm not even sure they can um, even eat there. Okay, they can't even eat fried chicken at some at some restaurant. I'm not even sure they could even eat there. Okay, so why did the rappers get killed? If you really look at why the rappers get killed, they violated that uh, thing. They violated it because uh, how did they violate it? Because they have stores in the black community. They have clothing stores in the black community. That's what really gets them killed. They about to start a restaurant in the black community. Now, they don't care if the rappers buy 20 cars, 20 McMansions. They don't care about that. 
but don't they they are not allowed to invest in the black community why because that would empower blacks if you have a clothing store in the black community then you got to pay fi- some black person $15 an hour to to work there and they don't want that because that would empower blacks i'm not like i said i don't even think they're even allowed to use the black businesses i don't think they're even allowed to do that that's why the rappers get killed. They're making it seem like a um, a gang beef. Some of these rappers that, that, that get killed, they don't even, they don't even know who their killer is. That's what they're saying on the street. They don't even know who the killer is. Never even see them. They're not in their gang, nothing. Okay? They don't even know who their killer's killer is. Never heard them see them. Why? Because it's a plan. Okay? You kill this rapper because he's violating the contract. He has a business in the black community. He has a clothing store in the black community. So go kill him. And they're making it seem like a gang beef, but it isn't. Okay, so why are you killing this rapper? Well, this rapper, he he patronized his black business. He ate some cookies from a black-owned cookie shop. So go kill him. And they're trying to make it seem like a street beef, a, a gang, a gang beef, but it isn't. He bought properties. That, that probably violates that contract. You're not allowed to buy tax delinquent properties in the black community. You're not allowed to do that because that would empower blacks. That would give them shelter. Okay, if you buy houses in the black community, that, that would give them shelter. They don't want that. You don't have a restaurant. You don't have a store in the black community because that would feed blacks. And plus, like I said, you got to pay them $15, $15 an hour to man the store. Okay, so that's what gets the rappers killed. You think it's a beef, a uh, uh, street beef. No, it isn't. Everything is planned. Wars are planned. This war in Ukraine is planned. Everything is planned. The plan, the plan is for the poverty and division and for the ultimate destruction of the black man. And like I said, when you kill one man, you kill generations of people. And besides, if you if they keep up with this black on black crime, if you got black males killing other black males, what does that mean? The white government does not have to pay them social security when they get sixty two. The white government does not have to pay them any kind of disability. Let's say if they live uh, from the gunshot wounds, the black, white man doesn't have to pay them disability payments either. So the more black men kill each other, it's cheaper for the white government in the end. Welfare was made for the black men. It wasn't made for anything else. If if welfare was made for white people, you would have had welfare what, in, in, during the Depression, 1920s and 30s. Welfare was made for the black men. Give, give the black people a welfare check that would pacify them, and they won't ask for any job in corporate America. They won't get a job at RCA because they own welfare. Keep black men in prison. You know, once you got a black man in prison... Then uh, they out of the job market. They out of the job market. Uh, their credit is ruined. They can't get a job anywhere. I don't care if they get twenty certifications for this and that. They out of the job job market, and that's what they want. Uh, now, do you see Oprah? I'm just using these celebrities as an example <clears throat> because they're very blatant as to what their wealth is. Do you see Oprah, Michael Jordan, or Shaquille? build any houses in the black community. I mean, houses that people live in that are shacks and then they rebuild it into a nice house. Do you see that? No, you don't. They're not allowed, y'all. Oprah with her billionaire with her billionaire status, she's not allowed to do that. She's not even allowed to buy a black person a $15,000 house. You can do a, Oprah can do a story on some poor black people and she'll walk right out of the interview. Because she's telling us, look, black people, I got money in the bank, but I'm not going to do anything for you. It's right there on YouTube. She went to this poor black community on the outskirts of Chicago. Uh, they don't have good housing. They don't even have a zip code. Oprah walked right out of that door. And she's making she's making a lot of money uh, to do something about that situation. But she walked right out of the door. What she's saying, look, I'm not going to do nothing for you. And look, I read the book about Oprah by Kelly, Kitty Kelly. Oprah wouldn't even put a, where the, where the town in Mississippi that Oprah, Oprah's from, Oprah wouldn't even build a sewer system there, and she's well able to do it. Oprah would not even build a community center for the young people. She was well able to do it. 
you were well able to do it. She won't do it. And you know what? She's going to have to answer to God for that. Oprah, she may have a good life here on earth, but in the next life, it's going, she's going to have to explain herself to the Lord. Now, Kenneth Copeland of Kenneth Copeland Ministry, and this is public knowledge. I'm not picking on him. I know the word says to touch not his anointed and do your prophets no harm. Okay, this is public knowledge. He said, and you can see it right there on YouTube, that he bought his jet from Tyler Perry, the crossdresser. You know, Christians are always hobnobbing with people who goes against Christian values. They always hobnobbing with people like that, you know, as long as they get what they want to get. Okay, you know, Christians would say, well, a pimp gave me this house. What you doing hobnobbing with a pimp? But look, Christians don't care where the money come from. The pimp gave me this house. Okay, and what are you doing hobnobbing with a pimp? I want the, yeah, he's, the Christians are telling the pimps, give me 10% of your money. It does matter where you get, and the Christians say, well, it doesn't matter where you get your money from, but it does matter where you get your money from because the Bible says tithes are holy. Tithes and offerings are holy to the Lord. And if you get money from the pimp, that's called unrighteous mammon. It does matter where you get the money from. But Christians always say, well, I got some money from a mafia member or game bank. I got thousands of dollars from them. And that's why they broke. That's why the Christians go broke. Unrighteous mammon in the church. But Christians say that I got some money from pimps. What you doing, huh? Christians are always hobnobbing with people that goes that goes against the word. Okay, so Kenneth Copeland said he bought a jet from Tyler Perry. Now Tyler Perry can sell a $40 million plus jet to Kenneth Copeland, but he can't even build a laundromat, one laundromat in the black community. Otherwise, they'd kill him too. And he knows that. They kill Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry has to have permission to do anything. To have that theater in Atlanta, he had to have permission from the people who wrote his check. He has to have permission. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and build a, a theater in the uh, Atlanta area. Just get out of Hollywood, <laughs> okay? Now, Tyler Perry, like I said, he can sell Kenneth Copeland a $40 million jet, but he cannot build one laundromat in the black community. He cannot build... He cannot uh, build a $25,000 home for an old black woman who's living in a shack. He cannot build one convenience, he cannot have one convenience store in the black community because that would empower blacks. Uh, now look, Shaquille has a lot of cars. He probably has a lot of homes. He probably does. But you know what? He cannot even have, he cannot have one convenience store in the black community. That's slavery. That's prison. He's still in prison. All these black celebrities. Now, look, Michael Jordan had to get permission from the people who write his check. He had to get permission to build that um, health center. Okay, so like I said, when you got to get people's permission to build something, you know, you're still a slave. If I got to get somebody's permission to, to build something or buy something, I don't want it because that means I'm still a slave. Michael Jordan had to get permission to build that uh, health center in the Carolina, North Carolina, somewhere. He had to get permission to do that from the people who write his check. So black people cannot, these rich blacks, that's why, that's why we have increased poverty because the rich blacks don't help us at all. They don't have a convenience store. Anything that empowers blacks, they don't want. If, the, if they had a convenience store in the black community, you got to pay black people $15 an hour to build it. They don't want, they want to keep us begging. They want to, for us to become perpetual beggars, begging the white man for a morsel of food. Now, Magic Johnson, so you see, now see, Magic Johnson, he's gone. His theaters are gone. He doesn't even own the theaters anymore. They made him sell it at gunpoint, probably. <laughs> You sell this or we're going to kill you, okay? He was made to sell those. Uh, why? Because they empowered blacks. Those theaters empowered blacks. He had to have blacks. He had to pay them to run the theaters. And that empowered blacks. So the people that write his check said, sell it or else. They're still slaves. All of them are still slaves. And you know, if they clones, they clones. I don't know what they are, to tell the truth. 
I don't know who I'm looking at. I don't know if they're real humans or what. I, I really don't know. <laughs> but they seem to be, but I know first and foremost, they're slaves. I don't know if they're 100% human. See, salvation is only for if you're 100% human. So I don't really know who I'm looking at. Am I looking at a clone? Am I looking at a lizard? I don't know. I don't know who and what I'm looking at. To, to be honest, I'm just being totally honest. I don't know. But let's just say you have to be 100% human for even to even get into the salvation plan. Okay, so I don't know if they want you to sit human or not. But the but so whites can have the wealth of the world, poverty for the black man, division, black on black crime. You think that's a, that's random? No. You know, I saw this movie years ago about blacks. It's just a just a movie, a after school movie. And one of the young men said, the black young man said in the movie, uh, they they got their nigger for the night. In other words, he they were living in the South at the time and they get they found a black man to kill. And he, he said they got their nigger for the night. See, it's all about planning. Okay, look, two people were killed just last night in my area. Okay, and do you think that's random? Do you think it's some bow-legged black man to go up to another bow-legged black man and kill him? No, it's planned. Black on black crime. Now, now the white man does not have to pay them social security, no disability, no nothing. Those are the plans for the black man. Have a nice day.